Moving for Better Balance, is a 12-week course that was developed in my own state by Oregon Research Institute. This is principally to help keep older folks from falling, but our population, Parkinson's population, as my dad was, there's a balance issue and a falling problem already. I personally know a gentleman with Parkinson's who for six months has been practicing this particular program. He didn't tell his physician that he was doing this, but when he went in to be tested, he had improvements two different times and now they know the Parkinson's and the Tai Chi are definite friends. So if you have a movement issue, or you have Parkinson's, or you would just like to learn some Tai Chi, what we're going to be doing is called eight forms or poses, and you're going to get something out of this. I'm going to try and bring this throughout the world, not in the 12 week form that uh, is taught here, or taught throughout Oregon and some of the other states, but in a form that you yourself will be able to do at home. But real quick, I want to say, no flip-flops, no athletic shoes with an open back. I'm going to be wearing um, a pair of ballet type shoes that are just a very flat shoe. You can go ahead and go barefoot. You could wear a sock as long as you're not on a slick surface and it'll keep your feet warm, but you'll still have control. A lot, just like I said, no slick surface. But if this is usually taught using a standard athletic shoe. You could also use some sort of a flexible tie-on dance shoe as long as it's good and tight, something with perhaps a little bit of a heel. And actually you could use a slipper that is similar to this one if it has a good sole that flexes somewhat but it isn't real, real uh, sloppy. You want to make sure that it's on there tight and you don't want this to be moving around too much on your feet. But the Tai Chi shoes are actually pretty darn flat and they look similar to this without the fuzz. So, we'll move on to a couple of stills so that I can give you some information real quick. It always helps to warm up. It's just pretty mandatory. Now, what we're going to do real quickly, because our time is short, is just take a step from side to side a little bit. And I'm doing this rather quickly. I'd like you to do this slower, but again, my time is limited on a 15 minute video. Knees up, just a little bit of a warm up. Maybe before you even start the tape and start to do the Tai Chi and the warm up, perhaps you could just walk around in circles a little bit in your house. So a little bit of a kind of a circle with your toe down, other direction, and circle with your toe down, other direction. And for our warm up, we're actually going to go through some of the Tai Chi tips and that will work as our warm up too. What I'd like you to think about is that you are a tree, your roots are going into the floor, into the ground in order to hold you here. And the breathing is always slow because Tai Chi is done slow, even if our warm-up has to be done quickly. So I'd like you to raise your hands just slightly and drop them down. And as you raise your hands, breathe in. And as you drop your hands, breathe out. As you breathe in, think about it and drop out. Breathe out and the knees bend. Again, breathe in. Breathe out and the knees will be bent. Tai Chi is always done with a bent knee for stability. And it's always done except when moving backwards, heel down, toe down. We have to get back here so you can see that. It's heel down, toe down. Heel down, toe down. Heel down, toe down. Let's do that on the other side. Heel down, toe. Heel and toe, heel and toe, heel and toe. When you are doing the heel and toe, you'll go heel, oh, 
excuse me, you always go to the left, so I'll mirror you. Heel, toe, now shift your weight over to this side. On the other side, heel, toe, shift your weight to that side. Heel, toe, shift your weight to that balanced leg. Heel, toe, shift your weight. Now, what are you going to do with your feet besides that? I'm going to turn around and we're going to do heel, toe, bring the other foot over and touch and balance on the ball of your foot. Heel, toe, shift, balance. Heel, toe, shift, balance. Heel, toe, shift, balance. How are you doing? Heel, toe. Shift, balance. And I'd like to remind you that in Tai Chi, it's the left foot that is the lead foot in everything. So, now that we've warmed up, let's move on. Okay, so here I am crouching on the floor, but it's the only way that we can get a shot of my feet so that you can actually learn how to do this. So, here we go. I'm going to have my back turned to you so that you'll be able to really see what we're doing. And we're going to start just with the step to the side and I want you to bring your hands up slightly, breathe in, breathe out. As you breathe out, soften the knees, the little bend in the knees and touch in. Side to side like we did before, heel, toe, shift, touch, heel, toe, shift, touch. Heel, toe, shift, touch. Keep those knees bent. Heel, toe, shift, touch. Now we're going to move forward and you can take whatever step you want to take. You can take a big step, you can take a tiny step, as long as you take a step with your left foot first. And it will be the same thing as heel, touch, Shift, oh, heel, toe, shift, touch, heel, toe, shift, touch, heel, toe, shift, touch, heel, toe, shift, touch. Now an exception to the heel, toe is if you step back in Tai Chi. And we're going to step back so we can do a backwards Tai Chi walk. And it's very similar, except it goes toe, heel, shift, touch. I know it's very hard for some of you with Parkinson's. That backward step is difficult. But this is one for you to continue to practice in order to overcome that. You don't have to take a real big step. Let's just take a little one. Toe back. Heel down. Now shift your weight. To the right foot, left foot in. Toe, heel, shift, touch. Toe, heel, shift, touch. Now what I'd like you to do is put your foot out in a diagonal, out to here. The toe is pointed diagonally, not out to the side and not in front, but diagonally. Lift up your toe, bend your right knee, and now you can feel that you've got a good balance going on. And back, put your weight back on your right foot and lift that toe. Move forward onto that foot. Move back on the right foot, forward on the left. Lift the heel of the right foot. See how I'm just rocking back and forth here. Now, if you need a partner to hold you, go ahead and do this or practice next to the sink so you can hang on to the counter. This is an important part and an integral part of the uh, responses that happen for the body once it gets used to doing this in order to balance. So, we're going to diagonal walk and what we're going to do is Take a step in and we'll begin by taking the diagonal step. Rock forward. Rock back. 
All your weight is on your right foot now. Take the toes of the left foot and rotate them slightly in. Rock forward onto your left foot, shift your weight, and touch. We'll practice that rocking back and forth on the other side now. So take your diagonal step, again, diagonal, not to the side, not to the front, and the foot is there. Bending the knees slightly, lift the toe, lift the toe, lift the toe, go forward and lift the left heel. Come back, lift the right toe. Forward, back, heel up, toe up and hold. Make sure that your weight is on the back left foot. Rotate the right foot, set your foot down, shift your weight to the right, and step. Okay, now we're going to step to the diagonal, rock forward on the diagonal, lift the right heel, shift your weight to the back foot, lifting the left toe, rotate, set it down, and shift your weight to the left foot, touch, step out to the diagonal with your right foot, and Weight back on the left, lifting the toe, rotate, forward, shift your weight, and step. Let's do that one again. That was kind of tough. So, out to the diagonal, toe down, shifting weight, rocking it back to the right foot, rotate left. Go down, step in, step out, toe down, the weight goes forward, the weight comes back, go ahead and rotate, shift weight to the right, touch the left foot, out to the left, put the weight on the left foot, rock back to the right foot, Rotate left, touch it down, touch right foot in, diagonal right foot, forward onto the right, left heel raising on the left, rock back so the toe is up, turn in, put your weight on your right foot, and step. Now put both feet down, bend your knees. Breathe in, arms up slightly, breathe out. There, you've had your first lesson in Tai Chi walking. Keep practicing that Tai Chi walking. I know it's a little bit difficult, but this gentleman that I was telling you about is doing so well, he can do back steps where before he couldn't even do that. He was really losing um, the ability to walk comfortably. And now he's getting it back. So, look for more, and there will be some uh, seated Tai Chi for those of you who would like to work the ankles and the legs and things, because I know that you do stand up once in a while, and we can get them a little bit stronger. Thanks for joining me.